Hello friends, welcome to our student support program for grade 11. At the end of a lesson, you will apply differentiation to connected rate of change. So let's begin. Everyone will surely at some point of time have blown up a balloon. You must have noticed that the radius grows much quickly at the beginning than near the end. The rate of change of the radius at any particular time can be calculated when the value of R is known. Also, the rate at which its volume increases is connected to the rate at which its radius increases since its volume is related to its radius. Let's find a rule that connects these rates of change. In general, if y is equal to f of x and the rate of increase of x and y with respect to time are dx by dt and dy by dt respectively, then the rule of combined functions is dy by dt is equal to dy by dx multiplied by dx by dt. Note that if dy by dt is positive, y is increasing. If dy by dt is negative, y is decreasing. If dy by dt is equal to zero, y is constant. Let's apply the rule of combined functions to some examples. Example 1. Given that y is equal to 5x cubed minus 7x squared plus 3, and x is increasing at the rate 0.3 units per second, find the rate at which y is changing when x is equal to 4. First, we write down our rule of combined functions. dy by dt is equal to dy by dx multiplied by dx by dt. Now, we go and calculate dy by dx. y is equal to 5x cubed minus 7x squared plus 3. Then, dy by dx is equal to 15x squared minus 14x. dx by dt is equal to 0 0.3. This is the rate of increase of x. At x is equal to 4, we substitute this value of x in dy by dx to get 15 into 4 squared minus 14 into 4. Evaluating this, we get 184. Let's write down our rule of combined functions again. dy by dt is equal to dy by dx multiplied by dx by dt. Now we proceed by substituting the values, which is equal to 184 multiplied by 0 0.3. Evaluating this, we get 55 decimal 2, which is the rate of change of y. Example 2. At what rate is the area of a circle decreasing when its radius is 9 cm and decreasing at 0 0.5 cm per second? Leave your answer in pi. Let radius be R and area be A. Area of circle A is equal to pi R square dA by dR is equal to 2 pi R. At R is equal to 9, dA by dR is equal to 2 pi multiplied by 9. Evaluating this, we get 18 pi. Now, we write down our rule of combined functions. dA by dT is equal to dA by dR multiplied by dR by dT. Substituting the values, we get 18 pi multiplied by negative 0 0.5, which is the rate of decrease of R. 
Therefore, dr by dt will be negative 0 0.5. Evaluating this, we get negative 9 pi. Therefore, the rate of decrease of area is 9 pi centimeter square per second. Example 3. Some liquid is spilt onto the floor and spreads out in the shape of a circle. Given that the radius is increasing at the rate of 1 cm per second, at what rate is the area of a circle increasing when radius is 2 cm? Leave your answer in pi. Let radius be r and area be a. Area of circle A is equal to pi R square. dA by dR is equal to 2 pi R. At R is equal to 2, dA by dR is equal to 2 pi multiplied by 2. Evaluating this, we get 4 pi. Now we write down our rule. dA by dT is equal to dA by dR multiplied by dR by dT. Substituting the values, we get 4 pi multiplied by 1. Evaluating this, we get 4 pi. Therefore, rate of change of area is equal to 4 pi centimeter square per second. Example 4. The radius of sphere is increasing at the rate of 0.5 cm per second. The initial radius is 2 cm. Find part A. The radius of sphere after 7 seconds. Part B. The rate at which the area of sphere is increasing after 7 seconds. Part C. The rate at which the volume is increasing when R is equal to 10 cm. Part A. We need to calculate the radius of sphere after 7 seconds. Let's define our variables. Let radius be R, area be A, and volume be V. dR by dt is equal to 0 0.5 cm per second which is the rate of increase. After one second, R is increasing by 0 0.5 cm. Therefore, after seven seconds, R will increase by 0 0.5 multiplied by seven, which is equal to 3.5 cm. Therefore, radius of sphere after seven seconds is equal to Initial R plus increase in R, which is equal to 2 plus 3.5, which is equal to 5.5 centimeters. Part B. We need to calculate the rate at which the area of sphere is increasing after 7 seconds. Area of sphere A is equal to 4 pi R square dA by dR is equal to 8 pi R. After 7 seconds, R is equal to 5.5 centimeters. dA by dR is equal to 8 pi multiplied by 5.5. Evaluating this, we get 44 pi. dA by dt is equal to dA by dr multiplied by dr by dt. Substituting the values, we get 44 pi multiplied by 0 0.5. Evaluating this, we get 69.115, which is equal to 69.1 cm square per second, rounded off to 3SF. Part C. We need to find the rate at which the volume is increasing when R is equal to 10 cm. First, let's write down our formula for volume or sphere, which is equal to 4 thirds pi or cube. 
Therefore, dv by dr is equal to 4 pi r square. Given r is equal to 10 centimeters, let's substitute this value in dv by dr to get 4 pi multiplied by 10 square. Evaluating this, we get 400 pi. Let's write down our rule for combined functions. dv by dt is equal to dv by dr multiplied by dr by dt. Substituting the values we get, 400 pi multiplied by 0 0.5. Evaluating this, we get 628 decimal 312 which is approximately equal to 628 centimeter cube per second, rounded off to 3 SF. Example 5. The diagram shows a vessel in the shape of a cone with height 60 centimeters and radius 10 centimeters. Oil is poured into the vessel at the rate of 8 pi centimeter cube per second. Part A. Show that when the depth of water in the vessel is x centimeters, the volume of oil in vessel is pi x cube over 108 centimeter cube. Part B. Find the rate at which x is increasing when x is equal to 20 centimeters. Part C. Find the rate at which the circular area of oil's surface is increasing when x is equal to 20 centimeters. Part A. We need to show that when the depth of water in the vessel is x centimeters, the volume of oil in vessel is pi x cube over 108 centimeter cube. Using properties of similar triangles, corresponding sides are in the same proportion. We have R over 10 is equal to X over 60. Cross multiplying, we get 60R is equal to 10X. Making R the subject of formula, we get R is equal to 1 over 6X. v is equal to 1 third pi r square h. We replace r by 1 6 x and h by x. We get v is equal to 1 third pi multiplied by 1 6 x to the square multiplied by x. Simplifying this, we get v is equal to pi x cube over 108 centimeter cube. Part B. We need to find the rate at which x is increasing when x is equal to 20 centimeters. Given that dv by dt is equal to 8 pi and v is equal to pi x cubed over 108, dv by dx is equal to 3 multiplied by pi over 108 multiplied by x squared. Simplifying this, we get dv by dx is equal to pi x squared over 36. dx by dt is equal to dx by dv multiplied by dv by dt. Note that dv by dx is equal to pi x squared over 36. Therefore, dx by dv will be equal to 36 over pi x squared. Substituting the values we get, 36 over pi x squared multiplied by 8 pi. When x is equal to 20 centimeters, dx by dt is equal to rate of change of x, which is equal to 36 over pi 20 to the square multiplied by 8 pi. Evaluating this, we get 18 over 25 centimeter per second. Part C. 
We need to find the rate at which the circular area of the oil's surface is increasing when x is equal to 20 centimeters. A is equal to pi r square. From part A, we know that r is equal to 1 6 x. Substituting this value, we get a is equal to pi 1 6 x to the power of 2. A is equal to pi over 36 x square. dA by dx is equal to 2 multiplied by pi over 36 multiplied by x, which is equal to pi over 18 x. When x is equal to 20, dA by dx is equal to pi over 18 multiplied by 20, which is equal to 10 over 9 pi. dA by dt is equal to dA by dx multiplied by dx by dt. Substituting the values we get 10 over 9 pi multiplied by 18 over 25, which is equal to 4 over 5 pi centimeters square per second which is approximately equal to 2.51 cm2 per second rounded off to 3 SF. Now that we have done a few examples for you, here are some exercises for you to practice. Number 1. At what rate is the area of a circle decreasing when its radius is 12 cm? and decreasing at 0.4 cm per second. Number 2. A spherical balloon is being inflated by blowing 5,000 cm cube of air per second. At what rate is its radius increasing when its diameter is 50 cm? Number 3. Water escapes from a circular cylinder of radius 6 cm at the rate of 30 cm3 per second. How fast is the level of the liquid in the cylinder falling? Number 4. Variable x and y are connected by the equation y is equal to x tan x. Given that x is increasing at the rate of 2 units per second, find the rate of increase of y when x is equal to pi by 4. Number 5. A curve has equation y is equal to 3x plus 7 over x plus 4. Part 1. Find the value of k for which dy by dx is equal to k over x plus 4 to the square. A point xy moves along the curve in such a way that x coordinate of the point is increasing at a constant rate of 0 0.08 unit per second. Part 2. Find the corresponding rate of change of the y coordinate at the instant that y is equal to 13 over 6. Here are some links that you can visit to help you with this lesson. So friends, Today you have learned how to apply differentiation to connected rate of change. We have come to the end of our program. I hope you have enjoyed it. Till next time, it's goodbye.